Hey guys, welcome back to Reading and More with Rachel. Today we're going to take a look at the mandala rock art. It includes everything you need. It includes rocks, three-dimensional paints, a paintbrush, three paint pods, and easy-to-follow instructions. And I also have my mama with me today. Hi guys. Well, let's say we open this up. Yeah. Alright. Let's check it out. Oh, wow. It's kind of heavy, too. There must be a lot of rocks okay, in there. Yeah, that's what we got. Out of here, we'll check these out. Okay, Rachel. Let's put that down a little bit. Do you want me to cut it open? Yeah, you got your scissors? Or you will. You, how about, yeah, you can cut it open. Okay, you should be able to pour everything out of there. All right. And let's see what we have in our little bag here. The first thing we have is our three little paint pods, and we get a light pink, black, and red. Let's go ahead and open these up. Yeah. Thank you. And here is a closer look at our pant pods. Here we have, it looks like some, maybe, it's either regular, yeah, it's glitter or glue. Wow, that thing's in there. <laughs> and then here is a little tube of white glue. And, wait a minute, is this glue? Oh, it's yellow. It's, it's yellow paint. Uh, yeah, yellow paint. Okay. okay. And then we also get a little paint brush. And here is our instructions. You get a whole big bag of rocks, guys. My goodness, that is a lot of rocks. Okay. And here it tells us how, how to do it. Okay, so what do they want us to do? Step one, set up your work area. Find a flat surface that you can use as your work area. Cover your work area with scrap paper, newspaper, or paper towels. Lay out all of your materials in front of you before you begin. Keep the box nearby as you can look at pictures for ideas and inspiration. Step two, start creating. Decide which rock shape to start with and select the colors you're going to use to make your rock art. With the paintbrush, paint the flat surface a solid color. Multiple coats are suggested to get an even color. Time to design for best results. Start with using your dimensional paints at the center of the design and move towards the edge of the rocks. Be sure to let each coat dry before moving on to the next design. Create Different size dots by adjusting the pressure used when squeezing the paint tube. Once you're done with your rock art designs, let the rocks dry overnight. Step 3. Display your rock art. Congratulations, you've just created your own rock art. Now it's time to show off your work to all your friends and family. Hmm. Anything on the back? Nope. nope. Okay, well, here's our rocks. And, uh... I don't, they didn't, they didn't say to wipe them off first, but they look kind of dusty. Yeah, so it might be best to go ahead and wipe them off a little bit. Yeah, get so your, um, you. your wipey there and help me wipe these off, please. No, I just did that one. Oh. Here, let me. Okay. There. Let me put those back there. Let's get them wiped off real quick. Some of these are little tiny. I'm going to yeah. pull the tiny ones out. Yeah, I Put could. the tiny, tiny ones in this green bowl. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of dirt off mine. I'm yeah. glad I decided to wipe them off. Yeah. 
so how are all of you guys doing today? I hope all of you are doing well. Yeah, we had uh, some rain last night. Anybody get any rain out there? I know that we sure did. It was pretty loud. Ooh, that's a pretty rock. It's got... Wow. Like a, it's got a... Like a vein of something else running through it. That's pretty cool. Yeah. All right, let's get these wiped off. Wow, that, that, that one looks cool, too. Wipe it off and show it to him. Let me check it out. Wow, this one looks pretty neat. Yeah? Look at this guy. Well. Huh. All right. Do you see any back there that you'd like to start on, Rachel? Um, I think I'd like to start on this one. Okay, well, it's clean and ready to go, so whenever you're ready, you get started. Ooh, that one's really pretty, too. Wow. That, that one look, kind of looked like a heart for a second there. Now, it came with blue, it came with those? Yeah. Paints and those? Okay, yeah. we also... We also have our paint. Some more paint. Some more paint. So, um, go ahead, Rachel. All right, let's see. I think... I want my base coat to be pink because my favorite color is pink. Okay. So. Yeah, pink's pretty good. I like purple myself. Okay, I got those out of the way. I'm going to go with um, this big guy right here. Turn it down a little. Let's pull this back just a little bit, honey. There we go. <clears throat> Let me see what you're doing. Whoops. We figured these blotters would be fastest. I'm turning into Poppy, guys. I blotted. I'm blotting mine. I'm going to let that kind of sit and I'll have to wait for it to dry some. Okay, and I really like this rock. Kind of a shame to paint it. Okay, that one. Um, that purple there. Let's go with. I think I'll do this one back here. Green. All right. I just do the top part. And because we'll have to wait for them to dry. Okay. So this works easier for me if I do this. I just pat it on there. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of gives it a little texture too. Alrighty. Green. What color are you going to do next? Purple. Because these have to dry before we can do the bottom, so. Yeah. This will be kind of a double project. Which one are you doing, purple? Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, it's I like of... these little flat ones. They're kind of cool. Since I still had a little pink on my... Oh, you're still working with the pink? Because I was going to ask if you had more pink on it, but you don't, do you? Okay. I'll just use this one. What color are you going to do next? Mm. Let's see. Change your brush. Or your dauber, whatever you want to call these things. I like these better. Yeah, they're... To me, it's just easier. Let's see. How about green? Oh, I can't see what you're painting. Okay, um... I haven't done a blue yet. Neither have I. 
Right. Do you have a, can I have one of your sponges for a blue? That little one would be fine. Thanks. You're welcome. And we'll just trade off if you need a green one. Oh, you already got a green one. Whoops. Well, Rachel Harvey didn't come home. No. But he'll he'll probably be back. He's just out being a cat. Yeah. Okay. And, and you guys, if you're wondering who who's Harvey, he is a stray cat that showed up at our house uh, in very bad condition, and we have this bigger orange tomcat that keeps beating all of our cats there up. There you go. So. Letting those dry. You got one more here if you want. What color are you going to go with? Pink. Okay. Pink again, huh? Yes. What? Uh, what can I say? I'm going to do I this really flat like one. Pink. Yeah, I think I'm going to do it. Oh, I'm liking that blue. Quite a bit. Do any of you guys have any animals? Please let us know down in the comments. Right now, all we have are cats and a tortoise. Oh, Andy? Yeah, he... Yeah. Okay, well, we got those situated for right now. How about we uh, come back after they're dry and do the next coat? Mm, okay. Okay. So, do we pause it? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, guys, we're back, and all the rocks are dry, and they're ready to decorate. So, let's get started decorating. Hey, everybody. All right, I'm going to... I'm going to start out with... I'm going to make this pink. big purple one right here. Yeah, I'm gonna do. Can I? I can't see it. Okay. I'm just gonna do blue polka dots on it. smeared it a little oh well okay blue polka dots and mm -hmm. I'm gonna do green I'm trying to do a snowflake all right okay I'm doing some green here I'm just gonna put a dot of green right in the middle of all the polka dots There we go. I guess it kind of looks like a snowflake. It's okay. Wipe off my brush. You want a Q-tip? All right. Um, let's see. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and leave that one alone. Start on this blue one here. I'm gonna do some um, let's see little dots around there. Turn math. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna I'm putting some stripes on. You like painting, Rachel? Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. If you guys like to paint out there, let us know. Put it in the comments. 
and we'll be able to do more painting. And if you guys have you any guys. ideas or anything that you want to see, please let us know down in the comments. Move that one over there and get these moved up front. Put the big guy back there for now. All right, I got the little green one. What are you working on? Where's yours at? The, this hmm. is. Oh, okay. I love it. I'm just kind of making up designs as I go. I'm just going to roll this in this paint over here. Okay, I'm going to set this one over here, Rachel. It's going to take a while to dry. Bummer. Put a little green right there and cover that mess up. Hmm, let's see. There. Okay, um... I think I'm gonna use some glitter. Oh, let me get this one first. I'm confused. You're <laughs> confused? Yeah. Uh, let me get this peach one right here that came with the kit. Let's see. Oh, whoa. <laughs> I think. Well. What's, what's wrong with that? Oh, I thought. Well. I think I'm going to use the little blue that, that came with the kit. Okay, a little squeezy. To do a little face. There you go. That's cool. Thank you. And then let's go ahead and grab the green rock over here. And I can... Hmm. I'm going to leave this one simple until I figure out what else to do with it. Because I'm confused. I'm not confused, I just, I'm running out of ideas. Does that happen to you guys out there? Do you ever run out of ideas? It happens to me all the time. You got this yellow one here. Well, that was gonna be a heart. I don't know. Well, this squirted, really squirted out. Good grief. I'm running out of Q-tips. Go ahead and wipe my Q-tip off. I don't know that I care for this yellow. Hmm. It doesn't go on very well. So, I'm going to mix Let's this see. peach with it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I did an R on that one. Where? All right. It looks like I have one more rock to do. I've got three little ones to do. Let's see. Do some peach here. What's your favorite thing about art, Rachel? Is that you can make it anything you want you want it to be. It doesn't have to be anything specific. Yeah. And it looks like we have a cat down by us. Oh, a visitor? Yeah. It felt like Jeanette. 
Yeah, it was. Okay. I just need a little face for that fella. <laughs> it can go with that one. <laughs> yeah? I don't know. What are you going to do with that green one over there? That's what I'm trying to think. Oh, okay. Oh, I like this. That looks good. Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> so I just did something like that. Well, that's 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 gonna be quite a quite a deal there. You excited about school starting, Rachel? Yeah, I think it, it, it'll be nice to see all of my friends. Yeah. This is true. Putting some red here on the blue rock. I'm trying to use my Q-tip like a paintbrush. There we go. Add one more little dot there. Okay, there's that one. I'm going to put a dot of green there. A dot there. What do you think I there. should do while we're waiting? Dot there. Um, I'd go ahead and put your, uh, your glitter. If you're going to do glitter, go ahead and get your yeah. glitter going. <laughs> okay. I made this one real simple. I made them all pretty simple, actually. Easy peasy. Isn't that what they say? Yeah. I put glitter on top of the snowflake. Okay. Now, don't hog all the glitter now. No, no. I'm teasing you. All right, I think I'm done with the glitter. Okay. Um, I'm done painting. I think I'm going to add some pink to this. You already did all your glitter? Yeah. Okay. You got yours all lined up. I'm going to add some pink polka dots to this. And uh, we'll take a break and let them dry. nice out today. Yeah, it is. It really is. You need to go out and cut out, cut grass for your tortoise. Yeah. But he ate a lot yesterday, so. Yeah. I think he'll be fine. All right, well, these are going to dry, you guys, and uh, we will check back when we get them finished up. All right, bye-bye. Pause it.